over the next few lessons we're going to take away over the next few lessons we're going to take a look at aws amplify amplify makes it super easy to deploy web apps of course we'll only be touching just the surface of amplify since it does so much more amplify is think of it as a suite of applications where you can build mobile backends apis and hosting your web app is just one feature and that's what we'll look at. Now this is a service within the AWS console. So you can always search for AWS Amplify. And you should get to this page. We can scroll down and this will show you just some of the features of Amplify. There's Amplify Studio, there's Amplify Hosting. This is what we're interested in. And here we see support for React, Vue, and just simple static JavaScript applications. So let's it get started. And off the bat, there's a couple options where we can tie this in. And just to show you how simple this is, let's start by testing Deploy Without Git Provider. And we want to give this app a name so let's call it first web app and for the environment we're just gonna call this dev because amplify makes it easier to really push application across multiple environments so we're gonna call this dev in here we can we can point it to a s3 bucket if we have those static files but we're just gonna use drag and drop and again we just want to drag the build folder. So if we go to our source code, and if I do a npm run build, if you're running a new React application, once your app is compiled, we just want to grab the build folder and copy it over to Amplify. Once your application is built, we want to grab the build folder. I've already opened up the folder here so I can drag this over so let me in this example you want to grab the complete build folder in the previous example we grabbed the the content of the build folder in this example you want to grab the complete build folder so let's grab that over and I'm just gonna drag and drop this may take a minute or two let's just hit save and deploy and let's give it some time to complete. And that's it. We have a website. So let's click on the domain. And this is the URL we get by default. And I think we're still loading. So let's wait till this is 100%. And let's try again. And here we are. So within maybe a minute, you're able to push your application to amplify now this may not be the way you want to keep pushing changes and it's just not scalable the best way is to have this tied to a git repository so let's do this again and i'll create a new application this time we'll use git so let me close this i'll go to all applications new app and we're going to host web app and this time we want to use github since we have our application hosted in git it continue we're gonna connect amplify to our git so authorize and again similar to what we did in code pipeline let's just hit the repository name and we're going to install an application that gives us access to this specific application so let's look for react deploy and we're going to install and authorize Again, I'm just going to log in. Once that's connected, we should be able to select our repository and the branch. We currently only have one main branch, so we just want to use that. Now, if you're using a Mona repository where you have multiple projects, you could easily check this and select the folder itself. Uh, since we're just deploying from a branch, we're just going to select the appropriate branch and hit next. And we also get a build similar to a build spec. And this is the set of command that the 
build machine needs to deploy your project. So we can download or we can edit this. Let's download this for now. Let it next. And we're going to save and deploy. And this will go through the steps one at a time, right? So we have our provision, build, deploy, and verify. Quite similar to our pipeline run before. So this should take a few minutes. And after a few minutes, the pipeline should complete. So let's test our application. And there you go. So not only did we connect this to source control, we also have a pipeline. Now that our application has gone through the full pipeline and it works, what if we want to make changes to our application again? And this is very simple, right? So let's go to our application and I'm just going to make a minor change. I need to reduce the increments right here. I'll save this and let me do a git status just to make sure my change is in effect. And I'll add this and I'll just commit this. Counter. And let's push this to main. And this should trigger our pipeline again. And there we go. So we have a full pipeline that we can automatically deploy. And we can expand on this a lot more, given how easy it is to get started. And our build is completed successfully. Let's test our application again. Let's refresh this, and it should only be incrementing by one. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to push new changes.